What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. And as you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna to talk about my Zostava M70 AK-47. I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, an update, just a little update on it and upgrades that I did to it. And possible upgrades that I may do in the future, may not, I don't know. So first get started with updates. So since the last video I did where I took it out and test fired it and everything, I took it out two more times after that. And the only reason why I didn't film them or do any videos further with uh, that yet it's because I went out with friends and we're all just going out, you know, shooting, setting up targets. And I don't want to, you know, ruin their time by, hold on, guys, let me take a video and stand back real quick and be quiet while I uh, do this, you know, uh, YouTube video. They're not, you know, they're not into it. So we're out there to have fun shooting and uh, and I was doing more target practice and stuff like that. So next time I go out, I'll go out by myself and maybe I'll do uh, uh, some more uh, shooting videos with this firearm. But that being said, I took it back out and I ran about maybe about Five, six hundred rounds through it. You know, I didn't run that many. I ran about, I said, around five, six hundred rounds. Absolutely flawless. Not one failure to feed, not one issue at all. The thing shoots just absolutely perfect. Uh, the recoil is super manageable. Um, the firearm is not over gassed. In my opinion, it's perfectly, perfectly gassed. Um, I mean, it, it, it. I was shooting still case ammo, but again, this is an AK, so they, they're built for that. Uh, I mean, it was bitching uh the tar uh, really good accuracy uh had no issues uh, hitting uh plink and still targets and uh you know uh it pretty much you know i would say out of the because we have we're again we're in california right so uh we only have we only could have 10 round capacity so it sucks i know but we have to abide by the law so out of the 10 rounds i'm hitting eight eight at least seven to eight rounds i'm hitting on target and we're talking about 30 yards out so it's pretty good, pretty accurate for an AK, you know, and I was doing pretty good. And this is iron sights. So, um, yeah, not bad, not bad. You know, it took me a little while to get the groove of, uh, of the iron sights and to get them dialed in. But I, after I got in, I was, I was uh, uh, nailing it pretty good. So I know that they say in the, the, I mean, I couldn't imagine even with optics on this thing, but uh, they say you can uh, hit targets out at uh, about up to 300 meters, which sounds pretty far for an AK, but you know, maybe maybe some, some expert shooters can do that with some quality glass, you know, quality scopes. But for me, uh, for what I do, uh, you know, 25, 30 yards is all I need it for and, and try to get accurate with. So that's where I shoot at. And uh, at that, it, was, it, it did everything that I, I expected it to do and it succeeded that, you know, so have no complaints at all with this uh, AK. It's just been awesome, just awesome. So that being said, that's up, done with the updates. Now let's get on with the upgrades I did. So let me just show you this real quick and maybe some things I'm gonna do further. So um, as you can see, like I said before, and in the last video I talked about it a little more, I do live in California. So we got all those uh, uh, gun laws that infringe on our rights, but we gotta abide by them, you know, it's, it is what it is, either that or you get caught shooting this out there, it's like felony type stuff. So you gotta, you gotta do it, right? Especially if you wanna, you wanna, uh, use your firearm and, and have fun with it without having a fear of, you know, getting your, your rights taken away. So what I did was I, I, I couldn't stand, I absolutely couldn't stand a lot. Of, and I had a comment on that in the last video that, uh, I had a, this thing had a fin, the plastic fin that comes in the back by California law. You cannot have a pistol grip if you don't have a fixed magazine. So for me, I had to weigh the options, right? Do I want uh, do I want a magazine I could uh, you know change out and you know do some rapid with that stupid fin on here, or do I want a pistol grip with a fixed magazine? Which obviously with a fixed magazine it makes it a little slower to load, um, and you can't obviously you can't be just changing mags out and going quick. Um, so for like tactical training and stuff like that, obviously this isn't the ideal setup I have. But for me in the shooting I do. Um, and I just couldn't stand that stupid freaking. If you go back to my video, you could see me using it. There's a little fin here, so when you're shooting it, it's kind of like it moves all over the place against your shoulder, and it's kind of hard to adjust. And every time you shoot it, you got to kind of adjust your hand, and you can't grip if the grip like this, you can't grip around. And when, when I took it out with this and just gripped around it and got that, that perfect tight grip, it was so much better, night and day difference. This grip compared to doing this, and even my accuracy and everything, just the feel of it, the the comfort, everything all the way around just was a lot better for me. So, you know what, for me, uh, and for, you know, for what I'm doing, I had to go with this. This is the comp mag. They call it the comp mag. It's the only fixed magazine that I could find for AKs that's out there right now. You know, I, 
that I know that's 100% uh, legal in California to use. I don't. Know if, there may be other ones out there. Maybe you can list them below if you guys know of a different one or a better one. But this is the one I'm using. So the way this one works is you got to, of course, take out your take off your dust cover, take out your uh, bolt carry group and uh, your uh, recoil spring. Take all that out. And there's that uh, bracket that comes a little little bracket that comes with the magazine. You just uh, put that bracket in there with a little screw and the magazine has a little screw hole. You just screw it in. So it, it holds onto a flange inside the actual uh, receiver. So, it, and then it makes it fixed max. You can't pull the set. You can push this all day long and it won't come out. It's just fixed in there. So for me, I was like, I'll just go that way. I did that. And it, what I love about this, this one too, which is kind of cool, is you're not like, you know, with AR-15s, you have to, uh, a lot of them, you know, uh, uh, a lot of the the, uh, the way you operate these is with the the the, uh, the mag release, the button mag release. Uh, they have this other one where it locks to the frame. Then you got to break the gun apart and all that stuff. And but then you're adding components to the firearm. And I've had it to where even like if you don't get it just right, it scrapes the towel out of your receiver. And also you can have it to where uh, the magazine's loose and stuff like. So you got to play with it. This cuts all that out. You just clip it in like a normal magazine. You put that little screw in, locks into place, and you're good to go. And I was gonna say the part that I like a lot is. Say you go to you move, go to a free state, or you go shooting out of the state. You go to a, uh, somewhere where that that you could have high capacity magazine and don't have to worry about the pistol grip stupid law, the non non common sense law. Um, you can change, just take it. So one screw, just unscrew it, take that bracket out, and then it comes out normally like a normal magazine. Then you could just throw your your stock, you know, the regular magazines that the unit's designed for, that the firearm is designed for. So. Um, that's why I went with this one. It has no, there's no other things that it does. It's all components of the actual magazine. So you don't have to worry about changing any, altering the gun at all, uh, internally. Love that. So the way this thing works though, so if you guys don't know, is you just pull this down right here, you lock it into place. Um, there we go. You lock it into place. That takes the tension off the spring. So and then on this side, I'll show you here, is where you have a little slide here. You slide that down. You load your your ammo in here and what you got to do you got to be careful they say and i i can see that happening and i get it because i see a lot of people complain about this other content creators when they did this review on this comp mag is don't load them with it like flat like this keep it tilted or even down if possible or a little bit tilted like this load your rounds in kind of slow get to make sure they don't don't go in sideways or anything because the reason is if they go in a little bit twisted, if you're like this and it rolls up like that and you let go of that spring, you're going to play hell getting them out. You're going to have to release everything and drop the mag. It's just a pain in the ass. So make sure all your your you know your shells are going in evenly and then just slide. Obviously, they feed upward. You just keep pushing them in. Then once you have them loaded, you pull, pull that up. And then on this side again, you just release your spring. Get out of the way. And then boom, you're ready to go. Rack your slide and you'll have a round in the chamber obviously this is nothing's in here it's been safety checked but um you'll have a round in the chamber and uh you know you'll, you're either nine or below so very easy to use very simple from what i've seen they seem pretty reliable as far as that go as far as that goes uh to me it's like i said it's it's whatever you whatever whatever you're comfortable with more you know if you it's, it's whatever you prefer if you if you could deal with that stupid paddle crap or you have another way of of uh, uh, using it, getting just using a stock, you know, a simple stock one. Um, and you like that better, then you could do that way. For me, a fixed magazine for what I'm doing is not that big a deal for the shooting I'm doing anyway. So I prefer to have a pistol grip. So I went with that. So that was one thing I did. I switched out compared to having that fin. So I took off the fin and then as you can see here, I did get the uh, the rubberized. And man, this thing is textured so nice. It feels really good in the hand. The ergonomics feel great. I got the uh, Magpul, the Magpul grips here. See, it has texturing here on the inside there. I was picking it up there. Yeah, texturing in there. Um, little storage compartment down here. Let me get to that. Little little cap over there. So we screw it in. Um, so you can store whatever you want in there, you know. And just it feels great. I love it. Way more better than that stupid paddle plastic thing. So I went with that. That was a little thing extra. And then the other thing I got here was the... Zastava, you can see right there, Zastava USA scope mount. And I think I'm gonna go with the red dot. I don't think I'm gonna put a scope on here. Um, the shooting I'm doing at, you know, at 25 yards around that, uh, you know, give or take, I don't need a, a high optic scope on here. All I want is something to to uh, to pin the target in with, you know, so red dot's fine with me. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go red dot, but going back to the, 
to the scope mount. Very simple. Um, there is an adjustment down here where you just, so once you loosen this, slide it on, it just slides on. It can only slide on so far. This little gap here is supposed to be here. It slides onto that gap. Then you tighten that up. Just, you don't want to crank it down super tight, but just tighten it towards firm. This right here, this lever here, you just, want, it's all the way on this side. You just crank it all the way down to a tight, and then it's on there. I mean, you, I can hang the rifle from it. I mean, it's it's on tight. So um, that's all you do. That's all you do to, to install it. A very, very simple installation. Um, this is awesome. Like I said, and this is actually uh, sourced out to uh, UTG makes these for Zostava. So they're, they're, they're the maker of this. And I have no complaints. It's awesome. I mean, it looks bitching on the rifle. I mean, it looks makes the rifle look pretty damn sick. <laughs> I like it. And then uh, I hear that it's it, it's pretty accurate. It's firm. It doesn't shake loose when firing or anything like that. It doesn't come loose. Uh, just awesome. Awesome. And then I also picked up this uh, sling. So and this is a pretty heavy duty sling. And from what I've seen from the reviews, I did some research. This is one of the better ones. This one is the Blue Force, uh, just standard. They call it Blue Force Standard Sling. I think they have different models, different uh, levels. Um, I just went with the standard sling. It's for AKs. It is supposedly designated for AKs. So, um, and, and it's pretty cool because it does come with the, the front part where you tie it on here. You just put this, loop it around, push it in. And this cable is rubberized so you don't scrape up your your barrel or the guard here area. So it keeps it pretty pretty snug. And then for me, there's different points you could attach it to. I just picked the back of it here. Um, you know, just matter to the back. I know there's there's other attachments you can get to hook it up here or in the sides and this and that. But for me, just back here works fine for me. I have it uh, stretched out to the length that, that suits me best for when I shoot. Um, absolutely love it. I mean, so far this setup I have right now is awesome. Future upgrades I might make, I'm still debating because as of right now, honest, honest guys, for me, this thing's an awesome shooter, man. It's awesome. I know a lot of people complain about the trigger, but for me, the trigger pull on this is like so crisp for me. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, it's real grindy, real grindy. And for this one, for me, it's not, it hasn't been grindy at all. Like it's pretty smooth. I mean, I don't know, like if you guys can hear it or feel it, but I mean, there's very, very, very little grinding. Boom. It's like, it's a four and a half pound trigger. And this is from, this trigger is from uh, OEM, uh, from Zostava. I didn't do anything to it yet. But I hear people say like Geisley triggers and there's other aftermarket triggers you can get that'll make it obviously a lighter and more crisp. And, uh, but again, the shooting I do, I, I don't, this is perfect, good enough for me. I don't need anything special for, you know, unless I, I might, you never know. In the future, I might change my mind. I don't know. A lot of, I've seen a lot of comments on my last video saying, hey, you got to switch out that trigger to the Geisley or, uh, do you know get a better trigger in there because these ones are kind of grindy and grippy but this I mean it's I rapid fire this you can see the last video and man it it, it pulls fast like a uh, pull the trigger it's pulling the slinging the bullets out so I don't know I might not do that I don't know I know they also make adjustable gas pist uh, gas block for this so um, I don't know they say you can do that you know you can adjust that for if you want to make it like uh, to spit out almost anything or make it a little less manageable for kicks but like I said for me the kick on this is almost nothing it's it's very very small a lot of people have a misconception that these AK-47s kick really hard in my opinion they don't kick that hard at all I mean it look obviously a little harder than AR-15 but um you know not 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 that bad not that bad very very manageable very very manageable um so I don't know. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it I'll leave it like that. I don't know. An optic again for what type type of red dot. I'm not too sure yet. I'm thinking either. Um, uh, I don't know. You know. Again, like I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm, I've been debating between either a vortex. Uh, is it a venom? I believe it is, or maybe another AR spark because I do like the sparks um, by a vortex as well, or. Um, I mean, there's all different there's all different makers and so it's kind of hard to choose you know to see so if you have any ideas yourself watching this video leave it in the comment below let me know which one you use if you have an ak platform and which optic works best for you as far as red dots um i'll take it into consideration look it up and see um you know I, i'm open to whatever you know whatever you think that works good in this which holds true and uh it has good uh um you know good uh, you know good reviews for for a red dot so all right youtube that's it i just wanted to show you what upgrades i did and give you a a little bit more uh updates on how it ran for me and how how I, you know how it's been doing and conclusion freaking awesome this thing is freaking badass i mean just an all-around real battle rifle man military grade love it so all right that's it for today please like subscribe and share and until next gun knife or whatever <laughs>